This is the TBS Tango 2, and it has the best RC control protocol in the world built into it, Crossfire. There is no reason anyone would ever even think about using any control link other than Crossfire. So if you have this radio, there is absolutely no reason why you would put this multi-protocol module thingy on the back of it and then stick an Express LRS module on there. But strangely, some of you are asking me exactly how to do that. And in fact, some people seem to think it's particularly hard or complicated or like unique. So let's do it. In fact, let's see how fast I can set up Express LRS on this TBS Tango 2. And if you want to do the same, I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. I understand why you might think it'd be difficult to get Express LRS working on a TBS radio because like TBS has Crossfire and Tracer and TBS kind of has its own little ecosystem and they might see Express LRS as a competitor and they might not want you doing that. But TBS has not pulled any like free sky shenanigans where they're explicitly trying to lock out third party modules. In fact, TBS has released this multi-protocol module bay that you can put on the back of the TBS Tango 2 to allow you to use third-party modules. And in fact, you are going to need that in order for this to work. I've got a tutorial about how to install this. I'm not going to repeat those steps. I'll just put a link in the video description to that tutorial if you need to do that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get this module bay on the back of your Tango 2. Or if you've got the, the Mambo, it already has a JR module bay in the back. There's no modification needed. And then you're going to get an Express LRS module that is compatible with your bay. This is the Beta FPV Light module, and it fits into the Light module bay on the back of the Tango. I actually don't suggest that you get this one if you haven't already bought one. In my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of the Express LRS devs, the best light module you can get right now is the Happy Model Slim Pro. I'll put a link to that in the video description. Obviously, uh, it has one watt output power, decent build quality, and so forth. But we're going to use this one for the example, and the process will be basically the same. Once the module is installed, the next thing to do is power up the radio and set up a model. To set up a new model, I'm going to long press the jog wheel, and then I'm going to click the jog wheel on Model Select. And then I'm going to long press the jog wheel again and Create Model. Uh, create Model Plane, Delta, or Multi. I'm just going to hit Exit and back out of this uh, little wizard. I, don't like to, I just like to set it up manually. If you like to use the wizard, be my guest. Now that I've created the model, I'm going to press the Exit key one time to back out to the main screen. I'm going to short press the menu key one time to go to the setup screen, and I'm going to scroll down until I get to the external RF option. It's easy to pass it like I just did there. Uh, external RF is off. We're going to click the jog wheel one time and roll the jog wheel to change that to crossfire, and then click the jog wheel one time. And at this point, the radio is talking to, and sure enough, the module is powered up. They should be talking. They should be ready to go. If you're new to Express LRS, you need to go ahead and download the Express LRS Configurator app. This is not unique to the Tango. It's just an Express LRS thing. And in fact, I actually need to update to the latest version so you can come along with me. I am on Windows, so I'm going to download Express LRS Configurator Setup 132.exe. While we're here, let's go ahead and update this module to the latest version of Express LRS. You may as well get familiar with it. This is not unique to the Tango again, so the clock should not be running on how fast can Joshua get the Tango working. The easiest way to update the module if the module has a USB plug is just to plug it in with USB. You can also update modules via Wi-Fi, uh, but uh, we're gonna just try to do this via USB. And this module is the Beta FPV module. Um, I see that 201 is out, so we're gonna flash the latest uh, non pre release, the latest official version. So we'll flash 201. And then we need to tell it what our device is. And this is Beta FPV 2.4 gigahertz module. And the device is the TX Micro. Uh, and the reason that we need to do this is uh, one of the things that we get here is the download Lua Script button. Once we've selected the hardware, we're going to hit download Lua Script. And we're just going to save that. I'm just going to save that to my desktop and I'll show you what to do with it in just a minute. 
Then we'll set our device options. Uh, one of the things you're definitely going to want to set is the binding phrase. The binding phrase is used to tell the modules and the receivers what that they should be bound together. It's basically like a Wi-Fi password and all of the receivers and modules that have the same binding phrase will automatically bind together without having to press any buttons or any nonsense like that. The other options I reckon I'm going to leave at defaults for now at least. And then we will select the COM port that appeared when we plugged in our uh, module and we will hit build and flash. If you have never done this before, it will have to download a whole bunch of stuff that will take maybe as much as 10 minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection is. This is only the very first time that you build in Flash, and, and normally it takes just a minute or two to compile the firmware. But uh, the first time you do this, you may need to go get a cup of your favorite beverage and come back in a few minutes before it'll be done. Once you've got the module flashed, the next thing to do is to copy the Lua script over to your radio. That Lua script is used to configure the ExpressLRS system and monitor its performance. Uh, and what you're going to need to do is plug USB into the bottom of the Tango 2. Uh, it is going to ask you whether you want USB joystick, USB agent, USB charging, or USB storage. And that's the one we want. So we're going to highlight USB storage SD and click the jog wheel. And when we do that, we should get a new a uh, removable drive pop up on our computer, which is the SD card inside the radio. Once that pops up, we're gonna go into the scripts folder, and then we're gonna go into the tools folder, and then we're gonna take the Lua script that we downloaded, and we're gonna drag it into the tools folder. Once that file's copied over, we'll unplug the radio, and I'll go ahead and put the module on the back of the radio, and it's powered up. And let's see if that Lua script is working. To do that, I will hold down the menu key, which will take me to the tools menu. And sure enough, there is Express LRS listed there. And I will highlight that and click the jog wheel to start the Express LRS module. And what I want to see here is I see packet rate is reading out. Uh, it looks like all these options are here. And in fact, I can go to TX power and I can change the output power. Yeah, it certainly, it certainly seems like it's talking to the module. All the options are there. So it is working. And in fact, we can confirm that by grabbing a quadcopter that has previously been flashed with my binding phrase. It's going to be bound to all of my modules, no matter which radio I'm using. That crossfire multi-module multi-bind thing, ExpressLRS has that. All of my modules are flashed with the same binding phrase, and all of them can control any of my quads. Kind of cool. Let's see if it's, let's just confirm that it's working. Yay! And now you have ExpressLRS working on your Tango 2 radio. If that's what you wanted to do today, hopefully you have succeeded. I've got some other tutorials about ExpressLRS that you might find interesting. Things like how to interpret the LQ and RSSI thresholds. It's a little bit different than Crossfire, although if you're familiar with Crossfire, it will be very familiar to you. I'll put links to those down in the video description like I always do. That's it. If you found this video helpful, educational, if I've solved a problem for you today or just entertained you with my pain as I tried to get past through working, I hope you'll consider joining my Patreon page. Uh, Patreon is a website where you can subscribe to me for as little as $2 a month or more if you feel like I've earned it. The amount you pay is totally up to you. Uh, as a bonus, you get access to my Discord server, which is full of really awesome, helpful people. Uh, and you get access to my live streams as podcasts. If you've always wondered why I don't do that, I do do that. I do it uh, over on my Patreon page. There's a link in the video description where you can sign up. And if today's not the day, if you just got here and you're like, why I, you haven't earned my money yet, that's okay. I give away all my content for free. And uh, if eventually you decide that I have earned it, you know where the link is. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.